So the transfer window is over. Manchester United completed three major signings and we've re-signed a superstar in Zlatan Ibrahimovic. But how was the window? I want you to give me your grade for the transfer window, A to D. How do you think we got on? I'm going to run through the transfers and give my assessment on how I think Man United got on in the summer transfer window. First player in was Victor Lindelof from Benfica. He is supposed to be the new starting centre-back alongside Eric Bailly this season. But Phil Jones has started off so well that Victor Lindelof hasn't even got in a match day squad yet. I'm absolutely certain that Jose Mourinho hasn't got a centre-back signing wrong because if you look at his career, there's one position he tends to get right. It's at centre-back. Fingers crossed that he will come through. But then if you look at Nemanja Matic, what an outstandingly good signing that was. Chelsea strengthening a title rival. I'm not sure they're a title contenders anymore after what was a poor transfer deadline day at Chelsea. But Nemanja Matic has started off brilliantly. I don't know whether it's because Man United haven't had a midfielder like him for years that makes him look better than he is, but he's filling a role that Man United have needed for some time. He's freed up Paul Pogba, who's now scoring and assisting just like we all knew he would. Paul Pogba will be the best central midfielder in the Premier League this year. But largely, that might be down to Nemanja Matic. And of course, Romelu Lukaku. We all thought we were going to sign Alvaro Morata. And then in a crazy 36 hours, we ended up signing Romelu Lukaku instead. Paul Pogba's best friend. And he started off in fantastic goal-scoring form as well. Scoring in his first three Manchester United appearances. Didn't score in his fourth and actually missed a penalty against Leicester. But we'll forgive him for that because he is going to be hopefully scoring 30 plus this season. I think if he scores 25 goals for an Everton team, he can score 30 goals plus if he's got Pogba and Mkhitaryan feeding him chances left, right and centre. So they were the three key positions that Man United needed to strengthen this year. We tried to sign Ivan Perisic from Inter Milan. We didn't offer them enough money. Perisic stayed at Inter Milan. But I think overall Man United fans are very, very happy with the three signings we made. And as I said, Zlatan Ibrahimovic being released on a 250k a week contract, then re-signed two months later on a 125k a week contract, that's a perfect position to be in. I'm not sure there's going to be many better mid-season signings than Zlatan Ibrahimovic. If Man United are still in the Champions League by that point, bring him in with the experience and the goals he's got. Man United have got one hell of an attacking force this season. Mata, Mkhitaryan, Lingard, Rashford, Martial, Lukaku. Man United are going to score goals galore. Three, three games into the Premier League season, we've scored 10 goals already. It's looking good. But how about the players that left the club? First things first, one thing that Man United definitely needs to do this year was let Wayne Rooney go. His spark had left. He didn't want to play for Manchester United anymore. He won everything. Fergie had gone. Louis van Gaal had come through and David Moyes. Jose Mourinho was the only manager to manage Rooney correctly, not starting him in every single game. And now Rooney's gone back to Everton. He scored in his first couple of appearances, including his 200th Premier League goal away at Manchester City. I think Rooney's going to score 15 plus for Everton this year. But for Manchester United, it was absolutely crucial that he left the club this summer. A great decision by Jose Mourinho. And one thing I'm extremely happy about. And let's run through the other ones. Adnan Yanaze, he has left on a permanent deal to Real Sociedad. Somebody that we all thought and hoped could be a fantastic player. But it goes to show that having the talent is one thing. Having the attitude is another thing. Ravel Morrison, I think he's just signed for a Mexican team. He is another player who was supposed to be the dog's bollocks coming out of Manchester United's academy, but he didn't have the right attitude. Perfect example of that as well. Cameron Borthwick-Jackson has gone to Leeds on loan. Unfortunately, you've gone to Leeds, Cameron, but fingers crossed you can actually get some game time in the Championship and come back through and into Manchester United's team. But I'm not sure that's ever going to happen. Kane Deirdrick roberts he was released by Manchester United. Good luck to him. And the same goes for Faustin McKellar, two young players. Fosu Mensah has joined Crystal Palace on loan. I'm very excited about that. That kid is a first-teamer in the future at Man United. Made his, he's made his debut for the Netherlands and he bossed Paul Pogba in the midfield. He is an athlete. He really, really is. I can't wait to see Fosu Mensah coming through in the future. And fingers crossed, he gets plenty of game time at Crystal Palace this year. Next up, Josh Harrop. He scored in that last game of the season. I think it was against Crystal Palace. Scored a blinder on his debut, but he won his first-team football. Jose Mourinho couldn't guarantee it. He's joined Preston North End on a permanent deal. Good luck to you, Josh Harrop. But again, it was the right deal for the player. So I understood that one. Dean Henderson has joined Shrewsbury on loan. Hopefully we'll get some game time. Good luck to you there, Dean. 
Sam Johnston again going on loan this time to Aston Villa, I think for the second time in his career. So fingers crossed he does well there too. I'm not sure how he's going to get through because we've got Joel Castro Pereira, who's a young Portuguese keeper that Jose Mourinho loves. He's our third choice behind De Gea and Romero. So it's going to be very tough for Johnston to break through there. Regan Paul, a young Welsh centre-back. He's joined Northampton on loan. Good luck there. Devontae Redmond, he's gone to Scunthorpe on loan. Guillermo Varela, he's left on a permanent deal to Penarol. The right-back Uruguayan, he, he played some games under Louis van Gaal, but he was just one of those players that came in and through the team that never established himself. He's not going to be coming back to Man United, I don't think. And finally, Matty Willock, he's joined Utrecht on loan as well. I think overall, Man United, have, uh, that Matty Willock deal is good. Our fingers crossed that we can see Fosu Mensah getting plenty of game time at Crystal Palace. But I think in terms of the outs, maybe Chris Smalling could have been sold this summer. Maybe we could have seen Ashley Young sold this summer. Jose Mourinho has decided to keep his squad together. And I think the three signings have been fantastic. It would have been ideal to have that fourth signing as a winger, winger sorry, but we didn't get it. But how do you think Man United's transfer window was overall? As I said, give it a grade in the comments, A to D. Drop a like on the video and subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. We'll see you soon. Take it easy.